we're going to go over two things today. We're going to go over uh, getting rid of this no valid subscription uh, nag box. And then the next thing we're going to do is enter the no subscription repository. Uh, so you don't end up getting things like the uh, enterprise repository errors. Like when we do apt update, uh, you'll get this error right here uh, saying fail to fetch uh, from the enterprise repository. So we're going to use the no subscription repository and uh, get rid of that. All right, we, there's two different ways to do this. So we can either do this through the terminal or over here, uh, clicking on your Proxmox node in repositories. You'll see the enterprise uh, repository is enabled. Uh, we can disable that here, add in the no subscription one by clicking add and then no subscription add. Uh, but we're going to do this the harder way, I guess just to get some familiarity uh, with using the terminal. All right, so I have the write-up right here on Proxmox's website. All right, and it's pretty easy. So once you're um, the root user, you can use sudo for your Proxmox node. We're going to go into this file and uh, edit to add the no subscription repository right here. All right, so we're going to type in nano etc apt sources dot list. All right, once you're in here, just go ahead and tab down to an empty spot. You can take this repository, copy, paste it in here. Once that's pasted in, it's control O, enter, control X, and then we're going to want to comment out the enterprise repository. All right, to find the enterprise repository, we can just go to this folder. It's going to be etc at sources.list.dpveenterprise.list. So just go to your shell. It's going to be the same thing. You use the nano text editor, etc at sources.list.d, pve tech enterprise dot list. Okay, and once you're in here, you'll see this is the enterprise repository. Just go ahead and comment this out with a hashtag, control O, enter, and then control X. And then if we go to our repositories, you'll see that this is what we would have done uh, in the GUI, just to make it a little bit easier, but it's fun using the terminal. So it disabled the uh, enterprise repository and added the PVE Proxmox uh, no subscription repository. So with this, if we go to our shell and we apt update, you'll see there's no error anymore. And then we do have upgradable packages. Apt upgrade. All right, once that's done, we're going to just clear this out. And the next thing we're going to do is get rid of that no valid subscription nag box uh, that you get when you first log in. So we're going to CD into user share JavaScript proxmox tech widget toolkit okay once you're in there uh, we're going to make a copy of the file that we're going to be editing uh, just in case we mess anything up we always have that copy so copy cp proxmox lib dot js and then we're just going to name it proxmox lib dot js backup backups or something whatever you want to name it okay and then we're going to use a text editor so we're going to use nano and then proxmox libs dot js once we're in here 
you're going to control W uh, to use the search function. Type in no valid subscription. And then it should bring you to the no valid subscription section right here. And then what we're going to do is key up to this section where it says ext.msg.show. We're going to delete that. Type in void. Uh, you'll see void will turn green. Going to control O to write it out, enter, control X to exit, and then we're going to restart the system. So system CTL restart PV proxy dot service. All right, it's going to close your connection, restart the service. I found to make sure everything gets restarted to exit out of your browser and then log back in completely from scratch in a new browser. All right, once you close your browser to get rid of that cache and open up a new one, go ahead and log in. And then this is the moment of truth. And then no valid subscription uh, nag box was shown. All right, there you go. No valid subscription uh, nag box shown anymore. If you have any questions, uh, just leave it in the comment section uh, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks for watching.